Hey guys, what's going on? Michael here with iDownloadBlog, and in this video we're taking a look at iOS 16. I have the first developer beta installed right here on my iPhone 13 mini. So let's go ahead and take a look at everything that's new. So probably the biggest new update with iOS 16 is the new lock screen experience. So it now completely lets you customize the lock screen. You can change the font and the color of your date and time, and you can also add widgets now right to the lock screen. So I'll show you all that in this video. So inside of settings, if you click on wallpaper and then hit add new wallpaper, you have a completely new page here. So we'll click on the default iOS 16 wallpaper. First off, if we click on the date and time area, we'll click on the time first. We can completely change the font and the color. So I'll change it to this font and then maybe I'll make it more of a lighter shade as well. And then you can see also we have a section below the time where we can add widgets right here. So if I click in this box, Maybe I'll add my activity rings for the day and then the weather and then stocks as well. And then hit done on the top. And then just like that, all the changes I made are now on my lock screen. And then if you want to open the corresponding app for each widget, all you have to do is click on it. And then just like that, it'll open the app you want it to. You can also have multiple lock screens. So when you're on your lock screen, if you press and hold, you can swipe between all the different lock screens that you have created and you can also create a new one. So I'll now show you all the different lock screen setups that you can have because there are a whole bunch of new options. So probably my favorite is called astronomy. So you can see here we have different options in terms of Earth and then the moon and then you can zoom in. You can also have uh, the entire solar system. So if I set this one as my wallpaper, uh, I really like what Apple has done here. So you can see here it kind of zooms into the Earth as you unlock your phone. I really like that attention to detail. They also have a uh, lock screen for the current weather. So uh, if you want your lock screen to kind of represent the weather outside, it's uh, kind of a cloudy day here. So you can see it's kind of a gray, boring uh, lock screen. But if it's raining or if it's sunny, uh, your lock screen will correspond to your current weather. And there also is a, another one called emoji. So you can have a bunch of different emojis as your wallpaper. And of course you can uh, customize the emojis in the wallpaper as well. And uh, with all of these different wallpapers and lock screen options, you can have different customization options uh, for your time and date as well. And of course you can add widgets to them all as well. And when you are on your lock screen, if you press and hold on the screen, uh, you can swipe between different lock screen setups. You can add a new one by clicking the plus. And you can also link a lock screen to a focus status. So if you want a certain lock screen to be applied when you are in a certain focus mode, all you have to do is click where it says focus right there, depending on whichever lock screen you want. And then you can choose to have that focus mode apply to that lock screen. So if I want this lock screen to be applied when I'm driving or when I'm in my workout focus, for example, I can do that. Also new on the lock screen on iOS 16 is notifications now appear out of the bottom of the screen and this is where they all stack up. So I don't have any notifications right now, but when you start getting them on your lock screen, instead of appearing directly below the time as they did in iOS 15 and blocking your wallpaper, uh, Apple now wants you to be able to see your wallpaper and uh, all your notifications will now show up at the bottom of the screen. Another change in regards to the bottom of the screen is the new now playing UI. So if I jump inside music and I start playing a song and then I go to the lock screen, as you can see, there is a new now playing section and it uh, is at the bottom of the screen instead of right in the middle as it was before. And having this now playing UI at the bottom of the screen is another good way for me to show you another new feature that is in iOS 16. I, I can't get it to work right now because this is a beta obviously, but there is a new feature in iOS 16 that Apple calls live activities. So there is an API that developers can take advantage of in iOS 16 that uh, allows users to have compact glanceable experiences. So stuff that you wanna track live such as a sporting event, or maybe a food delivery will pop up at the bottom of your lock screen in kind of a similar UI as the now playing screen. So if uh, there's a score update in a hockey game you're watching, for example, uh, that'll just pop up. Or if you're, you have a food delivery that's coming and your driver is sitting outside your door, uh, you'll get kind of a pop up here on your lock screen. So uh, that's kind of cool. It's an API for live activities that developers can take advantage of in iOS 16. Another new change inside of iOS 16 is Spotlight Search. 
So Spotlight now lives right here at the bottom. So all you have to do is click right here and it'll open Spotlight. Of course, you can still pull down to access Spotlight Search, but uh, it's gonna be a lot easier just to access it right here and click at the bottom of the screen. So here is another really big change I think a lot of people are gonna like. iOS 16 now supports landscape mode face ID unlocking on the iPhone. So before it only worked on the iPad, but now if you have your iPhone in landscape mode and then you aim it at your face, it can now unlock with face ID. So that is amazing. And another new change inside of iOS 16 is a huge update to iMessage. So you can now mark as unread, you can edit a sent message, and you can also undo a sent message. So you can see I have a message here that I sent. If I press and hold on it, you can click on undo send or you can edit it. So I'll click on edit first. So if I go hello there and then hit done, you can see at the bottom it says delivered and it also tells you that the message was edited. If I send another message and I wanna show you the undo send option, I'll uh, press and hold on it and then I can hit undo send. And just like that, you can see you get a little animation there and the message is undone. And you can also mark threads as unread. So finally, if uh, you wanna respond to a message later and you just wanna mark a message as unread to get that little badge on your app icon, you can finally do that. So inside of your messages list, all you have to do is swipe and you can mark a message as unread just like this iOS 16 also features a bunch of sports related features. So if I open up news, I can click on NHL here and this supports a whole bunch of different leagues around the world. I just have hockey selected for this example. So you can see we get scores and we also get teams and then we also have some stories around the league. And uh, all of this implements with our live activities, which I talked about earlier. So if you are following a, a hockey game or a basketball game, for example, and you're on your lock screen, any changes that occur in that game you're following will pop up at the bottom of your lock screen as I showed earlier. Another new feature in iOS 16 is really cool. It's called Shared Photo Library. So you can have a completely shared photo library with another person in your family. This uses family sharing through iCloud and any edits that you make to a photo will then be shared with their library. And also on top of this, this is really cool. Uh, coming in a later beta, it's not enabled right now. Inside of the camera app, you'll have a toggle where you can choose which photo library the photo you're about to take is going to be put. So you can choose to have it put in your personal library or for example, if you're on vacation with your family members, uh, you can choose to have the photo automatically be shared to your shared library. So that toggle is going to be somewhere at the top and uh, you'll be able to choose exactly where you want your photos to be stored. So that's really useful. So this was just a very brief look at iOS 16. We are going to have a ton more content for you right here on the channel. So make sure you get subscribed and uh, make sure to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the second we upload our next video on iOS 16 and everything new that Apple announced today at WWDC. So thank you guys so much for watching our first video covering iOS 16. My name is Michael with IDB. I'll see you in the next video.